We can also determine uh, fluid type information uh, by making formation pressure uh, measurements. Now here we put a tool down hole that uh, is in effect a pump that we attach to the side of the borehole wall and uh, we take a suck a little bit of the fluid into the tool and we measure the pressure that that fluid is under, the pressure that it exerts on the tool um, and it gives us a little bit of information about the uh, the permeability, the mobility, how easy that rock is to transmit fluid and it also tells us as I say the pressure at each point. So obviously the pressure is dependent upon the the type of fluid above you if you like, how much fluid is weigh, weighing down on you. So if you have a gas above you there's obviously not much pressure. Uh, if you have oil above you there's a little bit more pressure. If you have water above you which is heavier you get even more pressure. So we take a, a measurement of pressure down the well bore and uh, and see how the pressure changes through the well bore um, and that can we from that we can infer various uh, fluid attributes. So we take a series of measurements of pressure down through the well bore. Now these measurements are stationary measurements, um, and uh, at each point we we take a pressure reading and as we come down here we see that the pressure increases and here it's a little bit clearer I'll put some lines on it here for example are the points in the water leg so as we come down through here the pressure increases because quite quickly because the pressure because the water is the heaviest so we get a quite a heavy a quick a rapid increase in pressure with increasing depth. If we put the oil gradient on here, the pressure points measured in the oil leg, you can see that the pressure doesn't quite increase as quickly as the water leg. And similarly, the gas pressure here. As we come down through the well bore, the pressure doesn't increase as quickly. So with those three fluid gradients, we can actually put the intercepts on and we can determine where the effective gas to oil contact is and the oil to water contact where where the fluid the main fluid changes and the density between those the density of the fluid between the two is what controls the pressure differentials at the the pressure increase with depth from a formation pressure tool we can determine where the uh, fluid contacts are in our reservoir